Hello there, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the uh, revamp, restyle and reveal event which we're doing. Um, I haven't actually done an update for a little while and I thought I'd kind of show you the progress we've made so far. So um, one of the things I think that stands out the most so far is the fact that the colour has changed. And we've done this lovely colour which is um, Earthborn Paints and that's called Milk Jug, and I've done it all the way around, and I think it looks absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad to see some colour in the room. Um, you know, as before, it was neutral and stuff, which was all very lovely, but it's just, just not me, you know? Um, one of the things I wanted to show you was the, um, the idea of bookcases, which I've built in the alcoves, um, and then sort of playing with the idea of layers and things. So I've filled it with books, Still got to get a few more, actually. I've got a few gaps, which I don't want. Um, <clears throat> and then put a picture on the top of it. So it's that kind of, you know, sort of layering things up. I also, today, very excitingly, took charge of these chairs, which come from Maison de Mons. Um, two really, really gorgeous velvet chairs. Um, I'm going to keep them covered up because I've got cats and I don't want any cat hairs on them so they're going to stay covered for now and stuff but they're really beautiful I absolutely love them can you call One of the things I want to show you as well is um, this amazing ceiling light that I've got, which came from B&Q, but it did actually come in chrome, which I just thought was ugly. But I sprayed it a nice sort of gold brass colour, which I just think makes it really, really glam. And then beyond that, we've got a ceiling rose, which I didn't have. I didn't have a ceiling rose before. And that's actually just uh, an old sunburst mirror with a resin insert, which I've kind of joined together. Um, and I think it looks brilliant to get those all as it is. Um, and I think with a light like this as well, you know, it kind of commands a nice ceiling rose. I didn't even have one. So I think it's going to look really, really cool. I'm really chuffed as well with um, the tops of my pretend bookcases, which I've made myself from scraps of wood that I had lying around and stuff. Um, the bits in the centre are actually from old bedposts that I rescued from a skip. And stuff, and I always I kept them. I thought one day they'll come in handy, and I've actually used them to make like a nice finial on this kind of Italianate style <laughs> plinth for the top of the bookcases, which I think looks really cool. It's a little bit over the top, but that's kind of me anyway, really, I suppose. <laughs> so that's the progress report where we're at so far. Tomorrow is really cool because I'm actually going to be going looking for fabric tomorrow to make some really awesome drapes to go up the windows and I'm going to be looking for fabric as well to make some new cushions and stuff for the sofa um, and we've also got um, to be collecting a really huge new rug that's going to go down here as well which is um, it's going to make such a difference so there's lots and lots more to do um, but I just thought I'd kind of keep you posted as to where we're at, at the moment so I hope you enjoy this video speak to you soon bye